Wow. Okay. Look at that. So our lasers are telling us that this is about a meter across. Let's go right in on that. Like maybe a bit more. Because I think there's like all critters on the... Yeah, and it looks like it may be bubbling, but I'm, I could be wrong. There's just too much debris here. On the edge? Yeah, there's stuff coming up, but I it's hard like to tell. I see bubbles. What's, what's in the middle? It's... Yeah. Well, this is I cool. This is this a hydrate? No. Um, I don't think so. No, it doesn't Typically, when we see a seep like this uh, in this concentric circle, the middle um, the is an area where you have uh, a higher concentration of sulfide and or the contrast. gases that are coming through, uh, and you get the zonation of organisms that can live off of it. So don't yeah. assume that there's no microbes living in the middle there. It just happens that the white flocculent ones that you see on the outer perimeter may not be able to tolerate the conditions, uh, the geochemical conditions coming out of the middle. I think we're just seeing a classic ecological zonation. Look how long that siphonophore is. <laughs> My amazing. goodness. I'm seeing a lot of them, too. Why don't I look for, look for animals, uh, things that are animal-like? Well, so let's creep in there first because I agree. It certainly doesn't look like a target-rich environment like the last place. Yeah, that's true. Go ahead and zoom right in there, Alan. Let's see what we got for critters. Still lots of gastropods. <laughs> Not very. Someone squeaking their microphone. <laughs> Exciting. Not it. Not it. No, somebody in the front <laughs> row. <laughs> I looked very right, quickly. Come wide, please. You notice on the screen here, the ROV plowed into the sediment, and you can see that it is jet black underneath that surface veneer that's brown, and it's brown because it's oxidized. Even though there's just a little oxygen, it's enough to, to change the oxidation state and to cause some of the minerals to change from black to brown. Iron in particular is known for that. So, um, well, actually, this looks all right. We see there are some little critters. I think... Um, why don't we plan on doing two slurps here? We're going to go ahead and do one on this chamber um, and avoid the black blowout in the middle, if you please. And okay. um, go ahead and slurp uh, perhaps a little bit off to the starboard there where you see some snails. Give me some slurp action there, Ellie. I'm dying to add so uh, sound effects to this. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you're Didn't looking you? for, Al? Yep. It's so much more fun this way. <coughs> Coming again. Nice. <laughs> Let me help you out a bit, Al. Thank you, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> you stop that. <laughs> um, okay, that's pretty much all the animals off to starboard. Indeed. Um, Will, are you in a position to kind of hold the suction there and uh, let uh, Al zoom in a bit behind where your hose is? Uh, sure. Where uh, precisely is that? Can you swing your manip a bit to the port and get the hose out of the view of the center there? Perfect. Thank you, sir. Al, could you, uh, when you're ready, zoom yep. in on the animals living on that gray patch? I'm trying to figure out if we want to okay. ask Will to sample those or do something uh, else. Yep. Take me a sec. Just to yep. pan up slowly. Yep. There we go. Those gastropods. Pushing in some more. Yes. Yeah, those yeah. are our little snail friends. There's a, an amphipod up. Oh, there is. A little bit, yeah. You can see it now? Interesting. No, I can't see it now. It's not on the, it's not in the frame, but yeah. Now, where is this little amphipod? A little too much. Right. You see it. Oh, that's our. We need to. There we go. Right. See right? Oh, yeah, there we go. Um, I have a little more lens if you want to. if more. you don't okay. mind there, Al. Sure. Uh, Will, do you see the little, uh, um, uh, yeah, that little amphipod? Okay, oh, I see where it is. Um, Back in about halfway. Yeah, up. exactly. Yeah. So, Will, you see the black blowout, and yes. there's a little to about the two o'clock, between two and three o'clock. There's a little creature crawling along there. Go in wide, uh, closer, Will. Okay, it's uh, off to about, again, 2 o'clock. There it is. It's a little kind what, of red. What Alex is pointing at? Uh, no. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, right there? Yeah. Give me a slight tilt up and a slight pan right, and I can center them up. Just come a little bit wider. Mm-hmm. Nope. Don't know my own strength there. And the shrimp? shrimp? 
We got it. And there's a shrimp behind it. Brilliant. Get him again. There you go. Done. Gone. That wow. was a particularly good that, sound that, effect. That was a great <laughs> sound effect. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and just slurp the, the middle. Let's just do this all in one slurp. I think we got enough. Yay. Yeah, we got plenty to do, and we need to pick up the pace. So let's just get this done. The texture makes me hungry. I don't know why. I don't know. Ugh. Uh, that's interesting because I was thinking this makes me want to exercise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> this could be okay, enough. Okay, wide out. Wide all the way. Yeah, that's wonderful. Sh nice job, sir. Bottom. One of our viewers asks, why are so, there are such different colors in the sediments? Uh, it's because the sediments are composed of mm, uh, metals iron and they're composed of organic matter like so fish poop deal with that. dead oh, little things and those different compounds change color oh. not all of them wow. but some Ooh. of them wow. whether or not oxygen's present oh my gosh that's cool Do you want me to stop yeah, look at that big jelly yes. uh, this mass. Wow. thank you will that was great